What is going on guys? Thank you for joining us for another MLS player review. Today we have player of the month slash record breaker Carlos Vela of LAFC. He just destroyed it this year and is almost a shoe in for MVP. Now this card is an 86 overall. He's got 88 dribbling, 87 shot, 83 pace, 81 passing. It's a beautiful looking card. 82 passing, forgive me. He got me six goals and four assists in the 10 games that I used him. I played him both as a center forward, a central attacking mid, and a striker. And he was pretty successful in any of those positions. He's got some great in-game stats. He's got phenomenal finishing, as you can see there. He's got four-star skills and a two-star weak foot. As we know from watching him in real life, that right foot is pretty worthless. Aside from in-game, you'll see a pretty wild finish that I made with it. But he plays a lot like Messi and Di Maria, where he definitely favors that left foot, both while shooting, passing, and dribbling. He just kind of hugs that foot and, and doesn't really shift around too much. But it's not an issue. He's a solid dribbler. I was a little bit disappointed in his ability to beat defenders. I just felt like he constantly was losing possession for me, like the anti-Nagby. He just would constantly give it away, and I'd look at his stats at the end of the game and his possession loss versus possession won. It was pretty, pretty wild to see. Here's that weak foot finish that was beautiful. The other thing you'll notice there is his strength. That is an absolute positive quality for him is going to be his physicality. He's able to hold off defenders and not just get shoved off the ball and lose possession. So that was great to see, especially since his card is a base striker. Um, it's really nice for him to be able to make a run in behind and then not just get thrown off the ball when he gets caught up to because he's not too rapid. That pace is alright. He can get in behind, but he's not going to make these rapid, quick flying runs like Matrizo or just Martinez, but he does have the ability to make those runs. His positioning is okay. I did feel him getting lost on the field a couple times, um, and I just got to the point where I was like, I want to feed this card. I want to give him some more opportunities because I feel like he's not getting enough touches in this game, and I just look for him and I can't find him. So that was a little disconcerting. Another issue of his is going to be that 77 stamina. It definitely feels worse in game. I thought that Nani was unequivocally the worst player for stamina on the MLS team, but it's going to be Vela. He drops so much faster than Nani is crazy. By the end of the game, his bar is at like a third full, and it's just wild. And that does kind of hinder him, but because he is a technical player that does not rely on pace, he's still usable late in game, and you don't have to worry too much about it. I got a few finesse shots off of them, and I'm confident that cutting in on his left foot for a finesse shot, just as he does in real life, is gonna is gonna bring you bags of goals. He was pretty successful for me. I enjoyed using him. You know, it's Carlos Vela. It's the 2019 goat, but I enjoyed him. He's 30,000 coins to get. If you want a super sub. I'd probably look elsewhere, but if you have an MLS team, get this guy, no freaking doubt.